So here we are then with my little look at PES 2016 and what I think of it um, as a package, as a game itself. And I thought we'd start right from the very beginning. Um, different to PES 2015, obviously, it's really in your face. There are these little menu things. Um, I'm not really sure they were needed, I think, if the developers had time and money to work on a particular part of PES, the menus would be somewhere at the back of what was needed to change and what they really needed to spend time on. Anyway, I think the one thing I'm, I'm going to start with um, is my club because I haven't touched my club in any of my videos. So let's do it. And as you'll see there, you notice when I clicked on it, uh, the icon for my club is very big. And it's very big because obviously Konami can potentially make money from that. So it would be bigger than any anything else. So that's the first striking thing. And that is the reason why it's bigger, because obviously they want it to promote it to the player. Here you can potentially spend money, and that's very important to Konami. So let's make it bigger. So let's go into my club. I have played my club. I have played against other people um, online. I have played against the computer. I have kind of built a team and you'll see my gp points up there standing at 9743 none of those gp points have been bought with real money and um, they've all been earned by doing things in the game you can see on the versus com i've got a superstar on medium difficulty to play against and if we go into the squad this is how i've done it it's uh, how I've done my one. I know that uh, my club wants you to go for really kind of expensive players and stuff because it wants to give it. The whole thing about my club is structured so there's as much potential for the, for the player, the customer, to give Konami cash as possible. So all these players have short-term deals. Uh, if we go into the player menu, um, we can't actually see the, the contract length there. Um, I wonder if we can see it here. Does it does it give the contract length anywhere? Oh yes, it does on the right hand side on the information where it has the graphic and then it says costs nine, re contract uh, remaining contract duration one. So they don't get a very long contract, neither can you tie them down to a very long contract. It's all, you know, after a few games, I think it's, what is it, 10? You're going to have to renew their contract, which costs GP or my club coins, depending. Um, and if you don't have enough and you want to keep your star player, um, then, you know, you always have the option to, to use real money to do that. They wanted to give the player the option to use real money as often and as much as possible. If you've seen um, my Master League campaign, you will know that I have two goalkeepers, four centre-backs, uh, two left-backs, two right-backs, two defensive midfielders. Um, I've got two attacking midfielders. I've got two centre-forwards, two support strikers, two right, you know, people who can play on the right side or right winger, right wide forward, left winger, left wide forward. And, and I've done, although the team plays a different way here, uh, under a manager, which I actually did get with GP, I, you know. Um, and like I say, I earned everything in the game. Uh, I, I have exactly the same system. So all the players here that you see, I have a direct replacement for. And you can see down at the bottom the substitutes that I carry, you know, into each match with me. Um, and then if we go into here, you can see the other players that I have. So I have duplicates for each one. 
And what I do when I finished, uh, when I played one match with with these, is I swap the entire team round, and all the positions that I have fit exactly the same style. So they just, you know, I, I manage the stamina that way. Uh, of course, Pez, being Pez, likes to uh, fatigue the players a lot and likes to force you to make substitutions because then the contract, you know, will run out quicker on players and you will have potentially more chance of spending money. And that is how it is. If, any, if anybody was wondering why that is, the answer is money, much like it is with other humans in other things that's called businesses. But we'll get to that later. So that's the way that I've been doing it. And largely for me, it means that I don't have to spend any more than is necessary. Um, it likes to fatigue my higher earning, you, you know, the ones that I have to spend more on contracts. Like, for example, you know, Oscar and Ritzel, you know, it likes to fatigue those a lot, I, I've noticed. Um, and, and I think that is cynical because obviously if you can fatigue all the good play the quote good players, then the player will have to spend more GP and ooh, they might have to use real money. Uh, and that is my club. That is what it is and that is how it's structured and that's a fact. It's a fact. Right. So if I come out of, out of the team that I've showed you. Um, you can play this against the computer, um, and the same rules apply against the computer in my club. So, for example, you've seen my Master League campaign, and you've seen the 65th minute batches where the opposition don't move. You've seen the kicking through the players. You've seen the scripting of goals where, you know, all of a sudden I can't move a player or it push it, the game will push a, one of my players away from the ball just to give them, you know, all that kind of scripting shit. Well, that's in my club. So imagine a player who's spent real money on packs of players and stuff like that. Their real money will do jack shit in terms of the game cheating on purpose. So they, their players will have played a match and one of their, you know, days on their contract, one of their contract matches will have expired and potentially, you know, to keep all their stars that they've bought with real money, they might have to renew their contracts with real money because they didn't get the GP because they got shafted out of it by fucking cheating. And yes, that is how it's structured. And yes, it is a fact. Um... My club is absolutely disgusting. It's abhorrent. Um, and, and, and the other thing about my club that I want, I, I really, really need to discuss is gambling. Gambling. So let's imagine that you have paid real money through the My Club coins or whatever it is that you can buy. You know, games do this, don't they? The microtransactions. You know, Destiny has its coins that I refuse to buy as well. Um, I think even Drive Club has a potential to have microtransactions in, and and I like Drive Club um, in what they what they call fame boost, which I just don't use. You want to earn fame in the game, just fucking play it. Do you know what I mean? You want to earn GP in this game, just fucking play it. Uh, I, don't, I don't understand why they need to spend money. But imagine you've spent money on packs. And I've seen them. I've seen YouTubers do pack openings. And you know those suckers have spent real money on this broken shit. So they go into the pack openings. And essentially the pack openings are gambling. Because you do not get to choose what position of player that you want for your team. So if you go, if you go into your team and I look at this. Right, I've been trying to get a better centre back, and lots of GP has been wasted on getting a better centre back because it's been coming back with players who I just wouldn't use, even if their overall rating is really up, but their stamina is really shit. Well, that's more potential for the player to give Konami cash, isn't it? So anybody with really shit stamina, I'm not looking at. Do you know what I mean? Um, 
And they have to have other defensive attributes that, that that's good. And they have to not be, you know, old and slow. Um, so it narrows it down a lot. You cannot search and you cannot use, choose. If you choose to, to find a defender, well, it could be left back, centre back or right back that pops out of your ball. Do you know what I mean? Which sounds a bit rude, but you understand the point. So you don't actually get to choose. So you're actually gambling not only on the quality of player, but you're gambling on the position. You're gambling with the real money that you've paid. And gambling shouldn't be made available to people of certain ages. Oh, kids wouldn't play it. Kids would need permission. Oh, yeah, sure, pull the other one. And if you think that developers don't know that, Pull the other one. So they are fully aware that kids will be doing this shit, but the onus will be on the parent to ensure that, you know, only people of a certain age. But yet, yet, if you look at the front of PES 2016, nowhere does it say about gambling. And there should be laws against it. And the reviewers who reviewed it should have told us all. Uh, how this actually got a Peggy 3 rating, I'll never know. I don't know. How can you have a product that has full-blown, in-your-face, paid-for-money gambling and not have an age rating on it? I, I, I assume certain laws have really been flaunted, fractured, and fucking broke for that. But in gaming, apparently, it's legit. And people go with it. And nobody says a dicky bird. Why? If I earn GP from, you know, playing the game, which is the way that I've done it, and I go to sign player, right, that GP that I, I've, you know, um, earned in money, when I go to sign player, you go in contract, don't you? I'm flicking around the menus, you go in contract. Um, so I, I, let's assume I've got enough for a player, which obviously I don't, because I'd need 10,000, wouldn't I? <laughs> Um, I'd need over that because I'd need to make sure that my players have, you know, GP for contracts and stuff. Let's assume I go in there with the GP that I've earned from playing the game. The system is the same. With the GP that I play, I, I earn in game, I go in and it's gambling. If I go for a forward, it could be a left wide forward, it could be a centre forward, it could be a support striker, it could be a right wide forward. I'm not guaranteed on getting the position with the foot or anything that I want. You can't do it. And it's cynically been structured for that purpose. If you waste your GP that you've earned in the game, well, you might use real money then. Everything about my club has had it tailor-made to give the player the utmost opportunity of giving Konami cash. And that is cynical. When you couple it and factor in the actual football mechanics, where it still kicks through your players, where it still scripts goals, where it still cheats to score. Because, yeah, I've had all that shit. I've concentrated on showing you my club from, you know, my YouTube thing. But, you know, you can, you believe you me when I say that my club plays in its football mechanics exactly the same way as Master League. And if you think that that shit is taken out when you play against another player, think again, Sunshine. There is nothing about the football mechanics in, in my club that is any different to the shit that you see that I've shown in Master League. And when you consider and factor in that my club has every opportunity tailor-made for the player to potentially give Konami cash, that, that, right there, is something worth talking about. It's something that should have been talked about. And I've seen YouTubers who make money, thanks for the free copy, Konami, uh, show my club and try and make it exciting. But we'll be getting to YouTubers and reviews later.